Okay, so before we begin finding out how to write a number as a product of its prime factors, the three key words we need to have an understanding of are product, prime and factors. So let's start with the first one. If I asked you to find the product of 3 and 4, all I'm asking you to do is multiply them. So the product of 3 and 4 would be 12. If I asked you to find the product of 2 and 10, the answer would be 20. The second one, second example, prime. Do you know your prime numbers? Okay, this is going to be really, really important. So you might want to make a quick note of your prime numbers in your book now. Your prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and that's as far as we're going to go for now. But we'll look more at prime numbers later. And the third key term you need to understand is factors. Okay, if you haven't already watched the video on factors, it might be worth doing so before we go any further with this one. Or if you already know what factors are, that's fine. Putting this all together then, writing a number as a product of its prime factors just means writing the list of prime numbers that we multiply together to get that number. That sounds quite complicated at the moment, but hopefully by the end of this video it will make sense. So basically it's multiplying together prime numbers to get our number. Let's look at this example of writing 42 as a product of its prime factors. If you remember, I said to you to write in your book those prime numbers. And we're probably only going to need the first 10 for now, but it's worth having them in front of you. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, etc. I always start with the first prime number 2. So I look at 42. Is it in the two times tables? Is it even? Yes, this is an even number. So then I know my first pair of factors can be 2 times something. So my pair of factors for 42 involving 2 would be 2 times 21. Because 2 is prime, I'm going to keep that. But because 21 isn't prime, I don't want it. So I have to find some factors of 21. So I can make 21 by multiplying two numbers together. Again, I look at my first prime number, 2, but 21 is an odd number, so I can't divide it by 2. So then I look at my next prime number, 3. Is 21 in the 3 times tables? Yeah. So I know I can do 3 times something. The factor pair for 21 involving 3 is 3 and 7. So these are my prime factors of 42. And so my answer would be 2 times 3 times 7. And if I work that out, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 7 is 42. This is another example where we're writing 24 as a product of its prime factors. Again, let's make a quick note of our prime numbers just to keep referring back to. Okay, so I'm going to start with my prime number 2. Is 24 in the 2 times table? Yep, it's even. So I'm going to do 2 times 12. And I'm going to keep my 2 because it's prime. Now I'm going to look at the 12. Is 12 in the 2 times tables? Yes. 2 times 6. Again, because my 2 is prime, I'm going to keep it. Now I move on to my 6. 6 isn't a prime number, so I need to split that up. Is it even yet? So I can do 2 times 3. And 3 is also a prime number. So now I've got all my prime numbers. My answer... I would write as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 
that's quite messy. So can you think of another way of writing 2 times 2 times 2? It would be 2 to the power of 3 times 3. So this small 3 is because I've got 3 2's in my answer because I'm multiplying 2 3 times. Now I'm going to look at an example from scratch, how I would recommend you set them out in your book. This time I want to write 45 as a product of its prime factors. So as usual, I'm going to quickly write out my first few prime numbers just to help me out as I go. OK, is 45 in the 2 times tables? No. OK, it's an odd number. Is it in the 3 times tables? Well, I know 10 threes are 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45. Yes, it is. 3 times 15 gives me my 45. And because 3 is prime, I want to keep it. 15 isn't prime because I can divide it by 3 and 5. So now I need to split 15 up again. Is it in the 2 times tables? No. Is it in the 3 times tables? Yep. Yeah. 3 times 5 gives me 15. 3 is obviously prime, that's why I chose it. Is 5 prime? Yep. Yeah. So my answer would be 3 times 3 times 5. Again, because I'm multiplying 3 by itself, I can rewrite that as 3 squared times 5. Have a go at these examples in your book. This is quite a nice way to start because you know that in the circles you're going to need to put your prime numbers and your rectangles are going to be non-prime. Then have a go at writing your answers out like this at the bottom. When you're ready to work these out, press pause. When you finish, press play and the answers will be on the next page. You can then mark them. If they're right, carry on with the video. If you've got some problems, go and speak to your teacher. OK, so here are your answers. Remember, for number one, you may have written that as 2 times 3 to the power of 3. That's a better answer. For number two, you may have written 2 times 3 squared times 7. And for the final one, you may have written 2 to the power of 3 times 7. These are a higher level answer. If you didn't get the answers correct, it's really important now that you go and speak to one of the adults and get some help and try and work out where you've gone wrong. If they're fine, or if you know where you've gone wrong and you're happy to move on, carry on with the video. Now, in your book, have a go at writing out each of these numbers as a product of its prime factors, so using the trees. When you've got all your answers, carry on with the video, but for now, press pause while you work them out. Here are the answers. Any problems, go and speak to your teacher.